In my previous videos, I wrote Arduino libraries for IO Expander PCF8574 and 1602 LCD. In this video, the liquid crystal display is serially controlled via PCF8574, which is interfaced with Arduino through the I2C bus. A circuit diagram of the implemented project is shown here. We have the 16 by 2 LCD interfaced with the PCF8574 where the data lines are connected to the most significant nibble of the port. The enable is connected to pin 5. Register select is connected to pin 4. And we have the PCF interfaced with the Arduino using I2C connections. And we also have a DHT22 sensor connected to a digital pin of the Arduino. This block diagram shows how we can send a byte serially from the microcontroller to the 1602 LCD via the I.O. expander. First we send the high nibble. So we have two transmissions. First we transmit the high nibble or with the values of enable and register select enable is 1 and then on the second transmission we send the same information but the enable is 0 so that we have the enable pulse available once we send the high nibble we can then send the low nibble in the same manner the register select bit here determines whether we are sending a command byte or we are sending a data byte. Before we create a library for the I2C LCD, we'll see how we can program the I2C LCD using C++ and assembly. So in this sketch here, we have included some assembly function prototypes. These are related to the I2C programming. And these are three delay subroutines all of these functions are defined within the S file and written in assembly language. Within the set of function, this function will initialize the I squared C of the microcontroller. This function will initialize the 1602 LCD. And now we look at the code needed to transmit a byte from the microcontroller to the 1602 LCD via the IO expander. So this function here will send the byte. Now it has two arguments. The first argument indicates the type of byte. One means data, zero means command. And this value is to be displayed on the LCD. As I said, we need to send the ASCII value, so we will add 48. So this is the ASCII value of character three. Inside function LCD send character, we will receive the mode type, uh, as I said, zero means command mode, one means data mode. And then we will receive the data byte to be transmitted. We will then extract the high nibble from the data byte, and then extract the low nibble, and then or the high nibble with the mode, and then or the low nibble with the mode, and then send it to the uh, IO expander using function send 4 bits. Inside function send 4 bits, we will receive the byte to be transmitted to the PCF8574. This function will transmit the byte using I2C protocol. And then we transmit the byte again with the enable set. Apply a delay of approximately 0.45 microseconds and then send the byte again with the enable reset and then a delay of 40 microseconds. Now we look at creating a library for the I2C LCD. So here this diagram shows the folder structure of the library within the Arduino's libraries folder. We have our library LCD 1602 I2C. Within this folder we have the examples folder and we have the files needed to create the library, the source file, the header file, and the S file that contains the assembly code. We begin with the header file which is used to define the class. 
Here we are defining this class LCD underscore 1602 underscore I squared C. And within the public members we have the constructor which will accept one argument which is the right address of the I squared C device. The public members also include three methods which are defined inside the source file. Within the private members, we have the declaration of this variable, and we have also two methods which are also defined inside the source file. Inside the source file, after we include the header file we just created, we will include our assembly subroutines which are found inside the S file. Now we look at the public methods. The first one is initialize, which is used to first initialize the I squared C of the microcontroller. And then through these uh, statements, we initialize the 1602 LCD via the PCF8574. Method write text enables me to display up to 16 characters on an LCD line, one character at a time using this while loop. Method write character enables me to send a byte, either a command byte or a data byte, by sending first the high nibble of the byte and then the low nibble. Now we look at the private methods which are not accessible by the library user. We have method send bits and method PCF8574 send byte. A closer look on how to use the public functions within an Arduino sketch. So we have here function initialize. This will initialize both the I squared C and the 1602 LCD. Function write text allows me to display up to 16 characters text within double quotation. Function write character enables me to send a byte. This byte could be a command byte or a data byte. Zero means command, one means data. So this command byte is beginning of line two. Function write character with the first argument value of one means we have a data byte to be sent. So we can either send a numeral between zero and nine, but we have to send the ASCII value or we can send a character within single quotation. After we install the library within the Arduino IDE, we can now have a look at one of the example sketches available in the library. In this example, we will display temperature and humidity from DHT22 sensor on the I2C LCD. So here we are including our library and also we are including the DHT library. Here we declare this object LCD and indicate that the write address of the I2C device is 40 hexadecimal. Next we declare object DHT and indicate that the sensor is a DHT22 sensor connected to digital pin 2 of the Arduino. Inside the loop function and every two seconds we extract temperature from the sensor and display it on the first line of the LCD and then we extract the humidity and display it on the second line. The created library should work with the PCF8574 module shown here. In most cases, the module uses IC of version PCF8574A, which has this 7-bit slave address. So before you can use the library created in this video, you have to determine what is the I2C address of the module by also observing the values of A0, A1, and A2, which should be indicated on these connectors. The IC used in this project is PCF8574, which has this 7-bit slave address. A0, A1, and A2 are all grounded, so the values are zeros. So the 8-bit write I2C address becomes 40 hexadecimal. In a future video, the library will be updated by adding more functionalities. Thank you for watching.